Good afternoon, this is the 38th of 53 consecutive five mile walks from the Brestwood Disaster Memorial to the Miners Rescue and back again. Someone else I've been in contact with is my old friend Scott, or C. Scotty on Twitter. Scott and I go back a long way. We played for the mighty Box Park Albion, champions of the Wrexham and District Under-14s League in 1987, with goats such as Simon Mason, Darren Dutton and Kev War. Scott, as a result of these films, has been looking into his own grand story, Hilda, who lost her two older brothers in the Gresford disaster. And she's pictured here in her World War II Land Army uniform. Hilda, who attended Alexandra School, was only seven at the time of her brother's death. She and many of her peers were a product of the deep poverty that was deepened by the disaster when children went to school unable to afford appropriate clothing or even shoes. Children would literally turn up to school with bare feet and it was their teacher who would bring in shoes for them. Scott describes how the impact on her was deeply traumatic. She adored her two brothers, and them being so much older than her, they were her protectors. Hilda wasn't a big football fan, and didn't like her son, Scott's dad, going to watch Wrexham, so he'd have to lie about his whereabouts on match day. She admitted herself that her dislike of football was born from the fact that one of her brothers swapped shifts to watch Wrexham versus Tramia play, ironically today's fixture. Her brothers were James and George Davis from Farndon Street in Wrexham, and in another reminder of how close this disaster still is to us, Scott's dad was named after James. Hilda's dad, pictured here top right with her two brothers in the front, would have been down the Gresford mines with his sons but for a serious mining accident a year earlier when he lost an arm. Consequently, he had a job on the top. Scott was kind enough to dig around and find the original forms related to the compensation award made under the provisions of the Workmen's Compensation Act of 1925. This is separate from the relief fund and was set up to provide recompense to workers in certain classes of employment in the event of injury or death. The United Westminster and Wrexham Collieries Limited were ordered to pay, in today's money, £7,000 to the family. How cheap the price of life. While the mother received compensation for James, nothing at least initially was awarded for the death of George. The County Court of Denby ruled that George should not have been in the mine at the time of the disaster as he was working the double shift that would have enabled him to go to the match. After a protracted amount of time, the court acquiesced and compensation was eventually agreed. This walk was dedicated to George Phillips, Herbert Phillips, John Phillips, John F. Pickering, and Charles Powell. Today's song is Do You Ever Remember by Molly Drake. <laughs> 